right folks it's something like the 5th of September seems weird saying September 2023 back there is the A39 from Taunton to Minehead Road or it might not be the A39 it might be another it might be another one Yeah, I'm not that Yeah, I think the A39 is the one from the other side of the hills going to Bridgewater. Yeah, I always get a bit muddled up them too. Anyway, it's a main road going from Taunton to Minehead. And basically, I've come out, we've got a week of really good weather. Yesterday, it was very, very hot um, 30, 32 degrees. Uh, it was so hot, even like standing, not walking, was baking. Anyway, tomorrow and Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday are supposed to be really, really hot. It's Tuesday today. And um, basically, <clears throat> I decided to come and do a walk across the top of the hills. I'm walking towards West Bagborough. That's where I've got off. I haven't done it for a couple of years. I don't think I did it last year. I did um, Crocum last year, or even this year. Did I do Crocum? God, do you not time go so fast? No, I haven't done Crocum this year. Orchardscum. There's the young girl. She got off of the bus and me look. She's right up there. Young legs, you see. But she's not carrying a big pack full of water like I am. Um, anyway, I got the train. Everything's gone smoothly so far. Touch wood. Um, I don't feel too bad. Um, I thought I've got to do this now, really, because there's going to be a lot of strike action um, starting in a week or so's time. A lot of strike action. Um, and at the moment, the buses are still very frequent every half an hour, which is good as well. On this route, I mean. So basically, what's going to happen is um, I'm going to go through the village now. Oh, look at that. I'm going to go through the village and uh, pass the church. I don't know whether I'll stop to go in the church or not. Now the idea is then to climb up this big hill next to the pub. It goes up, there's this, this old bridle track and there's lots of trees. Now I deliberately chose this walk today because a lot of it would be an avenue of trees right on the top. A beautiful walk going up from West Bagborough that's the steepest part of the whole walk at the start, which, always, which is always a good idea, and you can take your time. Um, where are we at? Take time. Get that one. Anyway, when I'm at the top, I'll be walking this lovely route that I've done before, and I've recorded it. One of the times I did it, it was thick mist when I got up there. In fact, I didn't see anything for quite a long time. And I went much earlier in the morning, two hours earlier. Now, what I've said to myself as an option, if I find, once I get to Black Hill and the trick point, that I can't, I feel I can't make it back for the bus in time or I'm feeling sort of tired, what I'm going to do is come off at... Uh, Crocombe and I can pick a bus up from Crocombe um, I'm going to see how I go so that is an alternative I've never been picked up from Crocombe before God, loads of cars Um, 
So I'm going to see how I go. Now I've brought plenty of water, but don't forget, once you're up there, there's nowhere to get water. Um, another reason why I might come off at Crocombe is the remainder of the walk until I got to Bicknona Coombe would be extremely, extremely exposed and it would be the peak of the day but soon I'll be walking up in those trees I've had to take an antihistamine because my nose was streaming this morning this is a very high pollen day apparently my nose was streaming I was sneezing I thought oh I don't normally like taking them but it, the tiredness won't kick in till later Right, I'm just going to turn off for a minute. Somebody coming. Because I'm going up a lot of hill. I'm not going to walk down there to video the pub, the rising sun. <sighs> Typical English village pub, by the look of it anyway, an ancient. And this is called Stout Lane, which I've done before, of course. And it is stout, and that's a long way up. But it's a wall in the shade. That's why I chose it actually. You can go up a more exposed route. But this one is in the shade. And it's a long plod up. I'll be turning it off in a minute folks. It's not going to be easy for me to breathe going uphill and talking. No way. But it's all in the shade. That's why I've chosen it. Look at that. Look at that lovely lane. What a great way up. I will stop now and again. I'll take photos on route but I won't video probably till I'm halfway up or if there's a clearing. So this is Sheila over at West Bagra, Somerset on one of her summer hikes that have been delayed because we had awful weather. Now this could be classed as awful because it's going to be very hot but there is a breeze above which will save me when I'm ex in the exposed areas this cool zone will actually be good for me I won't use, I won't use so much fluids and I'll just take my time going up it. It sort of levels off what I can remember. It's not, it's not as steep as Crocom Hill, which I've been down and up before. Um, yeah, this one's a little bit more, slightly gentler, but you're still going up, of course. So I'm gonna turn off now, folks. Right folks, just a small bit of video. Now I've come quite a long way up. I've still got a bit to do yet. This is the hardest part of the walk I'm doing at the moment. I've done quite a long way actually. You only see snippets of what I do. You don't see me doing the whole thing. I've just showed bits. So I've come quite a long way. And these walls are lovely, aren't they? Little hobbit homes with like little roofs. You know what I mean? Made of slate or something and turfed on the top. I suspect there's a lovely habitat for some creature. And all the exposed roots of trees that have grown on the walls, you know, become part of the wall. Of course, it's very wide up here and then it goes narrow. This is called Stout Lane. I'm still climbing up it, folks. 
and enjoying it, having little rests every now and again. But I haven't videoed much of the walk because it's all uphill. And I've probably videoed it in the past two or three years ago, or four years, or five years ago. The last time I did this particular way up. And I've already made a decision now that I'm going to go as far as Crookham, not on to Bicknoller, and I'm going to walk down through Crookham Village and maybe stop at Crookham Church. Because I haven't been there for years now. I didn't go in uh, West Barbara Church. Um, of St Pancras, I think it is. No, I left that. I thought rather go on to Bicknoller and be out in real exposed area. I will go to the village of Crocombe, which means going walking down a steep hill like this, only steeper. Walk through the village. There is a shop, but it could be closed by the time I get there. But if it's open, like once before, I'm going to have an ice cream. I don't know if I'll definitely stop and look at the church there. If I do it, well, well, it's more important to stop and look at the church than get an ice cream, I suppose. I still got to go all the way up there yet, which still looks steep. So when you think you've done it, you haven't. I've got a feeling once I do that last stretch there, I will be on the main marching route across to Will's Neck, Triscombe Stone, onto the avenues, another avenue of trees that will take me to Crocom. Now plan A was going to be, don't forget I only thought about doing this yesterday because of the hot weather, I wanted to do a walk with shade and this is the one to do but it is quite a long hike from here to Bicknoller and I thought I'll only start rushing and panicking I don't need to go all the way to Bicknoller I can keep that for another day this will be plenty and like I said I can walk through the, the whole of the village of Crocombe um, and get the bus from Crocom Village off the main road. So that's what I'm going to do. Rather than think, oh God, you've got awkward in the exposed heat all the way to Bicknoller and down Bicknoller Coombe, <coughs> which is beautiful and I love it. I thought, no, get, try and get the bus from somewhere else. Do an alternative. So here we go folks, we just got to wander up this bit now, into the wood, and then we will find the, because Lydia Hill isn't far from here, um, and I've never made much of it, to the truth. People go on about it, I think, Will was next, bloody higher than that, maybe I went the wrong hill. Right then, steep combs down and up so but we'll stay on the main path we're not going off any tracks into ferns or anything today we're going to keep on the main tracks <coughs> try and avoid ticks um, looks like it's nice and wet look they've obviously had some rain and the trees will be happy with that I'm going to turn off now folks, be on again when I get to the top now. <sighs>